what a glorious day. We've had rain here for days upon days, you know. Well, flooded here in South Africa. But you've been flooded. You you had some weather things here. And not weather, but, you know, political weather in the States. Iowa. Hey! <laughs> mm. Ginger and garlic and some secret ingredient, whatever have you. I like it. It's called uh, Ginger Lover, whatever. Something like anyway. But Iowa. Uh, um, before I get to Iowa, oh, yeah, let me, let me say Iowa. It's, I'm gonna, look, it's very simple. Yeah. Bernie, look, Bernie going to win. Well, well, Bernie won Iowa. I think the last day I just heard this morning, he won Iowa, at least whatever, whatever, whatever. There's a lot of shenanigans going on. Uh, I, you can get that any place on the internet. But I want to say is, um, to point out something else. At this particular point, um, a long time ago, somebody had told me, he said, you know, if um, Iowa has predicted a lot of, you know, whoever gets the Iowa thing, if you just becomes a nominee for that thing. But then somebody doubled down and said, no, you get Iowa and New Hampshire both together, then that's a certainty. You know, just, because people go by, they do bandwagon things. People jump on the bandwagon. If you think you're on the winner, you're going to jump with the winner, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, so we have a job to do. Well, well we, you know, progressives, whatever you want to call us, or, or people who people want justice, or people want something. They don't want. They don't want. We got. They don't want status quo. But the status quo, mainly the DNC, you know, they, they got all kinds of things having to do. Tom Perez is pretty funny to me because he's so stupid, you know, that you can see everything that he's doing. You know, the whole the whole rules committee with the platform for the for the for the convention when it comes up. You know what I mean? And trying to stack that with their corporatist people, you know, all kinds of the the whole, you know, they got the media, you know, the, the corporate media. Oh, they all trying to converge against, you know, you know, you understand what the deal is. But here's but here's 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 the deal. What we what 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 we need to do is actually um, try to push not push the the issues of other candidates. You know, like for instance, I'm I'm a Tulsa Gabbard person. It's about the war thing. You know, I know Bernie's war thing, but this whole thing about other things. So I'm with Tulsi. Um, I know she's not gonna whatever. Uh, and the Andy Yang's got a lot of interesting things that I'm very interested in. So his those ideas need to need to infiltrate into to get into that platform that's gonna be set in policy. Not that those things get done because it become president, you know, this whole other process, but at least you have to have some entree, you know, and the entree is what do you want? And they tell you and you you put out what you want. If you want possibly the um possibly, if you want um policies that 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 Tulsi and Yang and Bernie put put them together, then that's that's more of a you know a thing to do. Okay. Mm. So for the next few months, remember all these campaigns, they put handing out money a lot. Excuse me, my handing out money. Look at Bloomberg, you know, handing out money, you know. But they usually hand it out to the to the media, you know, to for these uh you know, so it's still not going to I mean, unless you're working for the campaign, you know, they're propping up the media. All that money going to someplace and it's, and it's going to the same people. You know what I mean? If you want to get your message out, you put a big ad in the in the, I don't know, New York Times or whatever it is, that New York Times is getting that money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Let's go back to Bloomberg for a second. Bloomberg, that is so funny. You know, Tom Perez must be stupid. The DNC is really dumb. You know, they think that people are really dumb. And people see that and people are talking, you know. And so when he thinks he can buy his way in, remember, he's pulling a Hillary. Like, what did Hillary do last time? Last time. What did she do? She bought up the DNC. They had debt. She, her, her, her people, her Clinton Foundation, whatever, they, they sent them money. And then they thought they would anoint her. It didn't work. Well, Bloomberg's trying to do the same thing. You know, he buy his way in, pay up some debts for the DNC so they can keep, you know, like that. But it doesn't matter. He's just trying to buy influence. Hillary is trying to win. He's just trying to get influence. And his influence is the money influence. The rest of us was trying to get the, trying to get the policies of 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 a Sanders and a, and a and a, um, and a Tulsi Gabbard and uh, and Andrew Yang. That's that that's what we want to push policy. So that's going to be a that's the to me that's that's the real fight. I mean, because like I said, I think I think Bernie is going to sail on through. It's just that. What's he gonna sail? What's what's he gonna sail along through with? That's the point. Okay. So this is a little thing thing from Iowa. I want to hit on a one more thing to show the power because I'm very interested now in the power of that they call social, but the media, the, well, the, the, or social media, not corporate media, but social media, because a lot of stuff happens, especially with with black people. When it hits, it just explodes and everybody talks about it. 
you know? And the biggest thing right now, as you may or may not know, uh, um, Gail, Gail agent, Gail King with her, you know, who was spawned from the Oprah. Who, yeah, those, those, those folks that don't like the black circumstance and they want to make it more the white circumstance. So they are doing the bidding of the white folks. You know what I mean? Well, that's what Gail King tried to do. Uh, when she had this uh, interview with Lisa Leslie, I'm trying to diss Kobe, Kobe Bryant or, or to, to, to dump on Kobe Bryant's legacy. I mean, the man has just just left the planet, you know, or left this 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 realm, and automatically she's trying to destroy another black. Why do they keep on coming after black men? We see it in the films. If you want to show somebody's tough, first thing they do is beat up on a black person, a black man. You know, I saw this film. I think it was I think the Child's Play movie. They starting young too. Charles Playmore, yeah, because they, they have this all female power kind of thing right now. And so the the one of one of them, they said young people, and they think this is the girl was the, the thing. And then there was this black guy, the only black guy in the thing. And she sort of jacks him and said, No, you you just need to do what we're gonna we're gonna do. We gotta do this. And so he, you know, to show that she's in charge, show that she's tough, he, it's gotta be a black man that she's that she's, you know, shaking up. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. If if Gail wants to continue with cachet with with the CBS with the Caucasian broadcast services, then what she has to do, she has to do the bidding of the Caucasian broadcast services. You know, and they'll pay a lot of money to do that, and that's what's happening. You know, but this is all the way. We're gonna get all, all the all the black people. That's you know, all the black men. They try to continue to, to uh, emasculate black men, and so. But it ain't gonna work this time, Gail. Sorry, it, it overplays your hand. No, nah, you know. So for, for, for I think in the black community, you got Gail, you know, and uh, and Oprah. There'll be jokes about them, but that's all. They just be jokes now. People are abandoning them, the, the, that whole thing. Just gone. So those those are uh, just a couple of things. It's, it's sort of everything's sort of political anyway. So there's a couple of things just just to let uh, just so you know what's on people's mind, or at least on my mind. My mind being my mind is T's mind. That would mean. Me, T, from the Patterson State of Strange Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.